Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions into Chalet OS 32-bit operating system. So what you want to do is in VirtualBox go to Devices, Insert Guest Edition CD Image, CD Mounted. So I should be able to right click in, in the, uh, once it opens up, uh, open terminal here. Then you want to type SU, put your password in, and that means super user, so you get admin privileges. Type sudo space dot forward slash capital V B O X um, Linux editions dot run. You need to have the capital letters in because it is case sensitive. So then press enter, put your password in. And what that's going to do is install the VirtualBox guest edition so we can have full 1920 by 1080 uh, recording at 60 frames per second to upload to YouTube. So this is indeed going to um, install the um, VirtualBox guest editions. Uh, I can actually possibly close it up. Uh, I can close it up. Very, very nice uh, OS is Chalet. Um, as I say, you get all your clock, um, nice stuff on your bar. Uh, that's not right, actually. Because I'm not in America. Um, I'll change that later. Let me just check that that is actually the right time. It is 11.56. Right, so this is... Right, that's all installed there. So what you want to do is close that out and start, uh, log out, uh, click restart. So if you've actually followed this um, um, series so far, you will have got a full installation of Shell iOS into your virtual box or onto a full machine. Um, so, I strongly recommend that you actually follow this um, series completely so you will get a perfect Shell iOS running. So, um, I'm going to make that this size, and then when I next put it in full screen. It will actually be full 1920 by 1080. Should be anyway. So if I actually put my pass, oh, put the password in, we well, might actually have to adjust monitor settings. Oh no, it is going into full full screen mode here. Um, is that going? Well, that seems to stay in the middle of the desktop for some reason. Uh, so I'm just going to do some rearranging here. Put the home folder there. Welcome to Shell iOS. Settings. I'm going to actually delete all of that off the desktop. Oh, that's nice that the trash can goes red. That's quite cool. Uh, this is running very fast, actually, in the VirtualBox. So welcome to Shell iOS. So you get a nice welcome page there. Delete that one as well. Right, so here is your Chalet OS. Um, should actually be running at 60 FPS. Uh, you should be able to see it perfectly on your screen. So down here is the terminal emulator, uh, file manager, Thunderbird Mail. Um, oh, that isn't the terminal emulator. That is sort of the settings thing. Oh, catfish file search, that's quite nice. Uh, what's this? Thunderbird Mail. I was actually meaning to click on the file manager. So, very nice file manager. Do you like that? Uh, it's actually very much like Windows 8. Um, eject the VirtualBox editions. Um, very much like Windows, I do like that a lot, actually. Um, so we're going to go to Start. Um, 
Oh, we get Ubuntu Software Center. Hmm. Do we get Synaptic Package Manager? We do. So, to install software onto your shell iOS, you can open up the Synaptic... Oh, dear. Open up the Synaptic Package Manager, put in your password. I'm going to actually make this a bit smaller on the screen. Uh, right, so this is your Synaptic Panic Package Manager. Uh, and this is actually very easy to use in all distros of Linux. Uh, so you click search, basically. And then, say if I wanted to install VirtualBox. VirtualBox. Hit search. This is going to search for VirtualBox. I'm actually going to pull that down a bit there. So VirtualBox there, yes, this is the VirtualBox we want to install. If you're not sure, just look at the uh, description and it will tell you. VirtualBox is a free x86 virtualization solution. Yes, that's definitely what we want. So go and click Mark for installation. Mark. Then say we wanted some more software. So um, say I want OpenShot, which is a video editor. OpenShot Create and Edit Videos and Movies. Yes. Mark for installation. Indeed. Search again. And now we're going to install Chrome. Let's see if Chrome's on here. Uh, Chromium. Uh, Chromium Web Browser. No, that's not the Chrome. If you can't find it, uh, This isn't like the old version of the package manager. Okay, so go to your browser, uh, which the default one is Firefox. Type in Chrome, Chrome browser. Hit search. Uh, Chrome. Make sure it's the actual website. Click download now. Uh, we're going to do 32 bit for Debian Ubuntu because Shallow OS is based off of Ubuntu. So accept and install. Click on that. Save file. Click on that. that up. So this is going to download to our downloads. Google installer, which is a, a .db, which is a Debian package. So while we're waiting for that to install, we can actually go back to Synaptic Package Manager and you see these are the ones that we selected for install. Click Apply and then click Apply here. This is going to download and install all the software that we selected. It's that simple. Um, that's why Linux is great, to be honest. It is really good. Um, so we're now going to wait for that to install. Then um, in the next episode, uh, we're going to get to customizing, um, so uh, customizing uh, shallow OS um, just to how you want it, which is great. Um, the weather, I will change that. I might even run it on there. Uh, some of the packages could not be retrieved from the service. Do you want to? Yes. So it's saying some of the packages could not be installed, maybe because the servers are down, um, or something of the sort. It probably will install it. 
or you can check it by going to the menu and type in what it is to open shot yeah it's installed that well that's the start it's installed open shot um exit out there cool it let me just So that's the file we just downloaded. Let me just check that. Um, right, it hasn't installed VirtualBox. That's. But I was expecting it not to install VirtualBox, to be quite honest. Let's install OpenShot. Let's see if OpenShot works. Yeah, OpenShot works fine. What else did I. Uh, what else did I select for install? Um, Oh, that's good that that includes Play on Linux. That means you can install your Windows games on Linux. So something like, um, I don't know, Flight Sim X, uh, you could actually install that on here, which is really good. Uh, anyway, double click the Google Chrome Stable Current i386, which is the 32 bit edition. And then, obviously, if your software hasn't installed, just go to the Ubuntu Software Center. You can access that by going to Chalet and then type in Ubuntu. That's the top here. So you can see that our Google Chrome Stable has opened. So we want to click Install. So this is going to download and install Google Chrome. It's great. Um, while this is installing, I'm actually, once this has actually started the install, I'm going to install VirtualBox on here, see whether that works. Actually, we'll see if OBS is on here. That's probably the thing that I'd install. It's better. Should install. Mm, oh well. Maybe it's because it's running in a virtual box. Normally that would actually install and work perfectly. Oh. It's working now. See, it's Google Chrome stable. Um, OBS. Let's see if that's on here. Mm, oh, it's actually called Open. Broadcaster software. New. No. Yeah, there's none there. Oh well. Don't need it that much. Um, Spotify. Let's see if that's on here. No, you actually have to download that off the website. Uh, uh, no, you have to install Spotify through the terminal, which is you just do sudo at dash get space install Spotify. Oh, I'm not actually going to do that because I don't use Spotify on the virtual machine. So basically once this is finished you'll have a full working uh, Google Chrome. So um, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.